Hey. Here we go, it's the Tommy Takeover Hour. I finally taken over the channel. <laughs> so Melanie has had loads on her plate over the past few months, as you are all well aware, writing the book, keeping this channel going, keeping me sane, the baby, you know yourself. And obviously my job isn't very secure at the moment, thanks to COVID, so I've Loads of free time, that's something. So I wanted to do something fun to put a smile on our face and remind her of times gone by before COVID. Um, and I wanted something that would, you know, fill out a bit of this lockdown that we're in and at the moment as well. And none of us really have that much to look forward to right now. So I thought this would be something kind of special for um, I'm not exactly swimming in money right now, so it's very, very homemade -y. Yeah, Melanie is completely obsessed with, you know, movies and TV shows and stuff like that. So I wanted to, to really put together something that incorporated our memories and then her love of movies. And I tried to use like movies that me and her have watched together and shows that we've watched together as well. You'll understand soon. But it gave her something to look forward to every day for a whole month and she absolutely loved it. It was class and it gave me something to look forward to as well. I kind of realised it'd be nice to put it up online just to kind of share the smiles and to kind of show you don't have to spend a fortune to make someone's day and you know none of us are Jeff Bezos. I'm definitely way less well off uh, after a year of the pandemic and I'm sure a lot of you are the same so these kind of sentimental presents are really the way to go now, I think. Without further ado, let's rewind to a month ago. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a plane driver. I'm really excited, right, because our wedding anniversary is really soon and Thomas has been doing some kind of surprise for me. I don't know what it is, but today is the day that I get to know what it is. And... We've not gotten to be very romantic recently. We have a new baby and we're in lockdown and... Yeah, I'm still wearing my snuggie, look at the state. <laughs> he told me I have to vlog. Yeah, so. I should preface this as um, it didn't all go according to plan and I put it together in the evenings when the baby was asleep so it was all put together in like half hour increments of me being very tired. But. So it wasn't what I imagined. Come on, let's go. I want to see it. <laughs> right. I feel like it's Christmas. <laughs> what about the baby? We need food. Uh, oh, I can't shit. leave him here. Do you want to put him on his plane? Right, mat? I'll go down for one second. You going to do your noise? I'll go down the Ignore the fact that I look like Lord Farquaad. <laughs> okay, we're going into the front living room. Right, so you have to... I should probably take this. Okay. You have to close your eyes. Can I sit? <laughs> yeah, sit down on the on the little thing. Right. <laughs> this is the stupidest thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there's a couple of stages to it, right? Okay. So you have to I didn't want there to be tears. What is it? <laughs> Is this why you want to go watch the Da Vinci Code? Yeah. Oh, did you order the box from the movie? Wait. Open it up. <laughs> What's that? In context, I'm a big fan girl of the Da Vinci Code. <laughs> it's like out of Harry Potter for me. That's amazing. It's like a replica. Yeah. This leads us to the second half it's of... It's the secret word feats. No. <laughs> well, you can try You can try it as many times as you like, because I know you're not going to get it. Right, so this is the first part of your your present. But you remember I told you it was very long, and it they, my, my shit hint was movie. Yes. But it's not just this movie. What's that? Jumanji. Where's Where it coming from? <laughs> I have my thumb over the microphone of the camera here because I'm a feckin' gobshite. I <laughs> but I was just explaining to Mel this part anyway that uh, I kept an old advent calendar from Christmas 
and used it to turn it into the anniversary game, which I completely made up myself. Uh, I based it off Jumanji, um, starring Robin Williams, and then I based the words on my board game on the ones from the movie. So it says like a game for those who seek to find a way to leave lockdown behind. This is why it took so long. I had to do an entire code and everything. <laughs> so once a day, you get to open a box. That's not fair. <laughs> and then, when, by the time we've got to our anniversary, you'll have enough information that you'll be able to open the That's cryptex. So <laughs> I look awful. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you cried this much. <laughs> Why are we all emotional? Because you're happy. <laughs> <laughs> There's one last part then. Oh, that's perfect. It's already starting. I'll turn this down so you don't get copyright. <laughs> The soundtrack <laughs> makes it so much better. <laughs> but basically, right, so how it works is each day has a quote from one of your favorite movies or shows. Oh my and god. Each day has a photo of one of the things we've done together. And, oh. and a little, so if you can open the first one. And a little write up for me. So yeah, you can open the first one. And the code is hidden. See, this is one of the things that didn't go right, okay? I didn't take into account that the boxes would be too small for some of the photos. Oh. So some of the photos are folded over. Everyone thought we were having a baby when I posted this on Instagram. Like, we were still only together about a year or something. Um, accidentally picked a quote from the sequel. Yeah. I, can't, I, can't, I can't read your writing, honey. Oh, no. Um, Do you want me No, to? but this is private. Hey, little feet. You've got a very romantic daddy, little feet. <laughs> the quote is, love will find a way anywhere we go. We're home if we're there together. He has the worst handwriting. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was tired. <laughs> Why does it say the Lion King? It's because it's the Lion King too. I, I, was oh, look, I looked up- It just looks like Lion King question mark. I looked up Lion King quotes and that popped up and I was like, oh, it's perfect. because so yeah, it's... Thomas hasn't been brought up on Disney. <laughs> A son, before sunrise, he's your son. Right, so every day has a really happy memory from our past, like this. So we have 24 days of lockdown for thinking about nice memories from our past. <laughs> and hidden in all the memories is your secret code to open the cryptic. That is amazing. And you'll be able. This is the best so, thing anyone has ever done. Like, so, where did you get this? Uh, I got it online. <laughs> that is so cool. Yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? It's like really realistic. Right, so our baby is asleep. And it's time to open door number two of anniversary. <laughs> oh no, wait. What? There's a song. Oh yeah. To do the song, otherwise it would be a big waste of time. And then caught up on my playlist. You wore this on our second date. Yeah. Dumbledore. Sopranos. Oh, I love this scene. I used to think Tony was so sexy. Is it because I think you love me? Doesn't say much for my taste in men at all, does it? <laughs> That's coming from trauma brain. Yeah, none of the, none of the memories are in order. This is our last trip before the baby was born. Oh my god. I'll read the letter afterwards when yeah. the camera's off. Someday soon you're gonna leave families. Oh no. Your writing is awful. <laughs> Someday soon Stop you're gonna saying. have families of your own and if you're lucky you'll remember the little moments like this that were good. Oh, We're having a little day out at the beach yeah. with, with our baba. It's his first day at the beach. I brought box number three uh, to open up here. Oh mister, what's in here? It's Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. <laughs> If you 
could earn her love in return by the time the lust la last petal <laughs> fell, then the spell would be broken. If not, he would be doomed to remain a beast for all time. Uh. Is that meant to be you? Yeah. Aww. I'm the beast. <laughs> no. Definitely since having this child. It's anniversary day four. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> YouTube conventions. It was the most erotic moment of my life. Up until then at least. <laughs> <laughs> Old Rose Dawson. I can open your eyes. Take me on a fucking magic carpet. What kind of whole new world are you gonna show me in the middle of lockdown three? I can open your thighs. Rock your body like thunder. We'll live in the woods. Subscribe <laughs> up or red carpet events. What are those? Remember look how wearing, fancy we look. Remember wearing shoes? <laughs> <laughs> and not runners or slippers. <laughs> or socks. <laughs> Remember me wearing a shirt? You look so hot. Today's special moments are tomorrow's memories. Yeah, because that's genie. all we have. <laughs> Robin Williams. <laughs> I get so sad now if I watch Aladdin. If I hear his voice, I'm just immediately crying. Oh, pretty woman! So pretty woman. Notting Hill. Yeah. Oh. It's Julia Roberts. Shut up! She, 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 she. What's that? What's going on, Miss? Where's your hair gone? I don't know. I miss it. <laughs> I miss snowy graveyards. Yeah. It was Glendalock. I'm just a girl. And then he has in brackets, boy. <laughs> Standing in front of a boy. In brackets, girl. <laughs> asking him, her, to love me. <laughs> By Anna Scott. That's one of the best lines in any movie. I live in Notting Hill. You live in Beverly Hills. Everyone in the world knows who you are. My mother has trouble remembering my name. I'm also just a girl. Standing in front of a boy. Asking him to love her. Am I getting box number seven? Yeah? I so look forward to this every day now. It's like one of the most exciting things of life. This is tier one. Takeaway is tier two of lockdown excitement. Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> as hideous as my face. <laughs> Boy. Boy, Christmas family times with your dad. Aww. This quote has nothing to do with the above. Just thought you looked hot in the picture he he <laughs> <laughs> the quote is lyrics from hellfire which is one of my favorite disney songs <laughs> i feel her i see her the sun caught in her raven hair is blazing in me out of all control like fire hellfire this fire in my skin this burning desire is turning me to sin <laughs> it's, a, it's a letter about family times with your dad <laughs> I'm on day number eight now and um, this game is really making the whole lockdown experience so much lovelier. <laughs> it's something to look forward to every day. Oh, you've got this. Oh, turn it up. <coughs> Casper. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> This is one of the nicest soundtracks ever. Oh, God. <laughs> it's just so pretty. <laughs> I feel like 
our baby looks like the little boy when Casper turns into the little boy. Yeah. yeah. I think he looks like Casper when he's a ghost. He's got the big eyes and the baldy head. It's the time when you wore the I'm a Murphy now t-shirt. Oh yeah. My cousin made this t-shirt because my cousin and Thomas have been good friends for a very long time. Um, and my cousin wasn't um, in favor of us getting together in case we didn't work out and in case it like made things awkward. So he was just really not happy about the union at the beginning and he used to wind us up all the time. But then, so this was our Stephen's Day nights out with our group and yeah, John gave him this t-shirt on a big blow up doll. Um, <laughs> all the quote of course is, can I keep you? Yes, you can keep me. Can I keep the? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying like a gobshite because the letter is really nice. <laughs> You're so nice. This is the best present ever. <laughs> so it is. This is one of my favourite movies. Like Closer. Said. If you've not seen Closer, you need to watch it. It's, it's very heavy though, isn't it? Yeah. It's about relationships. Um, Natalie Portman, longer. Clive Owen, Jude Law, Julia Roberts, Queen. See, I mixed up some this of them. This is very crumpled. I should have used Harry Potter on this one. <laughs> this is us at the studio tour in London. <laughs> the quote is, I love you and I need a piss. <laughs> I do love you. <laughs> do you, re do you re really need a piss? Not right now. Okay. <laughs> Silently the senses This isn't our top Halloween costume. Um, it was our first Halloween. It's our first Halloween together. No, was it? No. It's the first time we dressed up for Halloween. Yeah. Being very quiet because the baby's asleep. You alone can make my song take flight. Yeah. <laughs> Me. I grew up with the really cringy movie I version i i'm obsessed <laughs> with it still like i probably watched that yeah about a hundred times i love it so much i know it has its reputation but just just watch it just surrender to it and <laughs> let me know what you think <laughs> if you're a real harry potter fan you know this is harry potter you know this is goblet of fire May not be the, the soundtrack everyone knows, but bitch I know it. I need you to open the box for me. Oh, okay, we're on day 11. You really missed a joke here if you didn't pick Spinal Tap for this. The numbers all go to 11. And, and most of 11 the and then amps go up to 10. Exactly. Does that mean it's louder? Is it any louder? Well, it's one louder, isn't it? One louder. Why don't you just make 10 louder and make 10 be the top number and make that a little louder? These go to 11. Yay! Here you go. Like that Harry Potter music, little man. Oh, New Grange. Yeah. So he didn't go with a quote from the Goblet of Fire, even though he played music from the Goblet of Fire. <laughs> it was just Harry Potter. <laughs> no, you don't get to say it's just Harry Potter. Oh, Each no. It's its own. After all this time. Always. Always. Yeah. yeah. I have an always tattoo on my wrist, but it's in Spanish. Yeah, siempre. Thomas has it on his chest. I've got it here. I miss going around Ireland and seeing the sights and the smell, smelling the smells. Yeah. I wish to bring you around Ireland, little man. Yeah. Getting ever closer to my gift. <laughs> I think it's about you. Yeah, we're nearly halfway there. I have my money on it's about you. Why do you think it's a voucher? Because I'm trying to think of something that would fit into the group text. All right. I'll neither confirm nor deny. <laughs> Granddad got baby a really cool prezzy. <laughs> Dad, I told you about this thing Thomas is doing for me, didn't I? Yeah. The present. <laughs> what the fuck is this? 
to guess the movie. <laughs> so yeah, he he gives he gives a soundtrack. Got Les Mis there. The child is uh, ruining the lovely song. Our first first picture after we just kissed. Yeah. Who uh, <laughs> caught you? I was very drunk here. I don't know who took this. Thomas put this on Facebook with the caption "husband and wife." Remember it right yeah. after it happened. I took that as a sign oh, yeah. <laughs> that you were you were seriously interested. It's not from the play. It's from the book. Apparently, apparently there's a book, and that's the quote from it because. Did you not know it's a book? No, I just googled lame is quote and that came up and I thought it was really nice and I wrote it out and then once again like the Lion King I checked it after I wrote it and I realised it wasn't in the play No, I am not going to be able to read this. Your writing is horrific. Your handwriting I was tired The power of a glance has been so much abused in love stories that it has come to be disbelieved in Few people dare now to say that two beings have fallen in love because they have locked, looked at each other. <laughs> Yet it is this way that love begins. And in this only way? Or only in this way? Did you write that wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Did you remember write it? I think that one was a fail. <laughs> no! Yeah. Oh, the peep show! Yeah. <laughs> ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Ready to watch your lovely bottom. Wow, I'm actually good at this. Maybe I'm a natural. Yeah, I'm a jogger. Of course, there had to be a sport for me. I just never realised. I'm unstoppable. I'm... Jesus, is that a stitch? I... Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. I'm literally gonna die. Up a mountain. Yeah, we went up Lug Quilla with all your family. Hey, Baby Boo. I like you, and if you can't handle it, you can just, you know, fuck off. <laughs> Gladiator? Yeah. Yeah, it's when I became a big boy. I miss scrubbing up nice. Yeah, look how look how important we look. <laughs> Self-important. <laughs> <laughs> this quote isn't really romantic necessarily, but Thomas and I say it to each other all the time. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I will see you again, but not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. His name is Juba? <laughs> yeah. I didn't, know, I didn't that. know that either. I had to Google it. <laughs> Good old Juba. It's time for window 15. <laughs> Look, Mummy's gonna open this box. It's number 15, mister. I have a face mask on in case you're wondering why I look like Shrek. Game of Thrones. <laughs> this is the song we were supposed to walk up the aisle to. At our like original planned wedding, we cancelled it the first week of Stranger. all the COVID stuff. I am hers, and she, she is mine from this, this day until the end of my day. days. Do you think we should use this when we get married? I think so. Like, well, we're married, but um, well, we have our serum, our big ceremony. Yeah, we didn't have the big day thing. We we chose Braveheart track for the mini. Wedding. Yeah, for our mini secret wedding. Okay, yeah, you have that box. You play with the box. This is Mammy's. <laughs> play with the box. Aww. Is that our first holiday? That was when we, the first time we went to Sevilla. Yeah. And this is one that actually I matched up correctly because we're outside the Dorn Gardens there. Oh, yeah. We were outside a filming location from Game of Thrones where Dorn is filmed. Moon of my life. My son and stars. Stupid remember, Daenerys. Remember we used to say that to each other all the time? Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited for your hair to grow back long? Yeah. Yeah. Someday. Someday. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh.
This is probably my favourite movie. Yeah. And this was... Not an expected choice, but uh, Braveheart is just... Yes. And it was the song you walked down the aisle to on our on our real wedding. Yeah, it was us having a little kiss. Yeah, it's when we got married in a registry office, 2020. We'll always have that as a really cool story. Yeah, yeah a week from our wedding, it was called off and... <laughs> Nobody was there except yeah. <laughs> I just remember th family. there was the security guard. He was all like, "Oh, your wedding got cancelled, Jay's That shite, isn't it?" <laughs> it's like, "Yeah, it is shit." Stop talking about it. I will love you, you and no other, and I you, you and no other forever. That's mummy and daddy getting married. Mummy, you're in mummy's belly there. But it wasn't a rush job wedding. I promise we were engaged before you were conceived. <laughs> but even if we weren't, it would be fine. <laughs> Can't say that nowadays without offending fucking everybody. <laughs> Don't eat the picture, baby. No. no. I probably have food on my face. Um. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I wondered if you're gonna get this one or not. No. It's not Rocky. Yeah. Rocky! Adrian! Rocky! Adrian! Rocky! Hey, where's your hat? I love you! I love you! Oh. oh, it is that song, yeah. It's the wedding music. <laughs> this is when Thomas gave me my Our, uh, engagement ring. Um, like official, well, we were engaged already official, with an onion engagement. ring, like in The Simpsons. Our friend Simon was there, Thomas told him to take photos <laughs> <laughs> of us out in the water. The quote is, what are you doing for the next 40 or 50 years? I was wondering if you wouldn't mind marrying me very much. <laughs> oh, that's, that's so cute. It's rocky. <laughs> Day 18. This is from Labyrinth. I went as David Bowie this year as one of my two amazing Halloween costumes. I was very proud of it. <laughs> Did we not have a picture of us together, of me wearing my David Bowie? Uh, Probably not. We had a big family one. But this photo is uh, when we just came back from Spain. This was our homecoming from Spain. Is it? We had lived in Spain because Thomas studied there to be a pilot, so I moved over with him for a little while. We look so different there. I know, yeah. It's so weird. It's only forever, not long at all. I'm getting a shoulder rub as part of this present. But that looks so <laughs> dirty. I've been awoken before dawn as always. Two cinnamon buns. Oh, what have you got there? Number 19. We didn't actually have any good photos from when we went to see the Rocky Horror Picture Show, so I picked the Rock of Cashel because it kind of looks like Frank's, Frank's castle. I thought you were going to say you picked it because Rocky Horror, Rock of Cashel. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good as well. <laughs> it's from our Ireland adventures that were cut short by Covid. The quote is, there's a light over at the Frankenstein place. Yeah, that was easy. <laughs> I was thinking that it one isn't romantic. <laughs> Well, it is. It's a memory because we used to sing it to him when he was in the womb. Oh, yeah. And when he was born. And when he that was, was born. That was the first song. Now we sing him Hey Jude every day. You recognize that song, son? <laughs> it's Lord of the Rings. Can't wait to watch Lord of the Rings with you, little man. <laughs> this is Arwen and Aragorn's music. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god. It's our onion ring engagement. Wait, so uh, my face is so warped here. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's the way the photo has been bent. Um, 
So that's what I was talking about when I said Thomas proposed with an onion ring. It was literally an onion ring that he brought back from Spain because it fit my finger. Yeah, it was in the it was in the canteen. We were long distance at this stage of our relationship and I had super ginger hair and Thomas had a full head of hair. <laughs> I would rather share one lifetime with you than face all the ages of this world alone. <laughs> oh no, oh no. Baby. <laughs> Cry. I'm really emotional today. I'm sorry. I just filmed a YouTube video and I started crying in it as well. <laughs> Give me that box. He's eating my box. <laughs> That's one of the nicest quotes ever. Yeah, I thought that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Box sake. <laughs> I have to get more sponsored content and my makeup's going to be ruined. Don't say that. <laughs> my present's real good. It is. This is so good. <laughs> I'm so excited to open the grip tags even if there's nothing in it now. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with with his handwriting, by the way. Like, what no. the fuck is that? No. <laughs> I was writing them fast. Sometimes I didn't even have the table. I was, like, writing them on my knee. The monitor. I have to do it for her. Don't leave me. I'm gonna leave you <laughs> forever. You're a liar. No. The second Sex in the City movie, <laughs> which and it's like the worst scene in any film ever. But I love Sex in the City, so I'll let you away with it. Oh, that fucking scene, man. You could have picked. There's really nice songs in the show. Or has time rewritten every line? If we had the chance to do it all again, tell me, would we? Could we? Love this photo. Because you're being woman and you're and you're like, look at me creating a life. This is after our first private scan for the baby, because uh, Thomas wasn't actually allowed into official scans because of COVID and stuff like that. Yeah, oh, I forgot to... about that photo. I love that you've printed that. Yeah, it's a really nice picture, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of I remember how there, happy but... I was that day. The quote is. Me and you, just us two. Just us two. And then we always say, me and thee, just us three. Tis the literal crack of dawn. And um, I'm about to give baby his fa favorite new toy, which is uh, the Cheerios box. He has plenty of toys, but this is what he always wants. How nice, is that what you want? Ready when you are. Hook. Yeah. Such a massive fan of anything Peter Pan, but Hook was one of my favourite films most of my life. If you've not seen Hook, it's about Peter Pan in a world where he actually grows up into an adult. That hits so much harder now, being a parent, like... We have a few special years with our children, when they're the ones that want us around. After that, you're going to be running after them for a bit of attention. It's a few years, and it's over. You are not being careful. And you are missing it. Today's picture is uh, when when I got my dream and Thomas had got his dream. I think he'd only recently gotten his job with his airline and my first novel was published. The quote is from Tinkerbell, played by Julia Roberts. You know that place between sleep and awake? That place where you still remember dreaming? That's where I'll always love you. She was so attractive in Hook, even though she was playing a tiny little fairy. And I've experienced another dream. That little man. Biggest dream of life. Thomas once again had his finger over the camera and microphone thing, but this one he said was like bringing it full circle and it was Jumanji, which, you know, he used the music from at the start. And uh, the quote was, thanks for sticking around this time. The letter is really nice. It's just about how I stuck by him while he was training and yeah. had to get a lot of expensive flights and I missed my dad so much and stuff. But uh, 
near the bottom he wrote I love how you make every room a den because we used to call our room in Spain in his campus a den and um that was my Christmas present this year yeah this is the den too this is <laughs> we're gonna use this sign on our future house it's like a wooden hand hand carved sign thingy with Bobby we're back in the room where the game started. We're gearing up to open the last door. I'm just about to have some breakfast before I figure out the cryptex. For those interested, peanut butter, honey, cinnamon, and jam, and toast. So our son's new <laughs> favorite thing is to pretend he's coughing, pretend he's laughing, pretend he's crying, so he can just, <coughs> or, <laughs> or <laughs> it's this this action he's just learned. <laughs> yeah, we're about to do the final one. No, 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 no. No, we're back to the start. We're back to the Da Vinci Code music. Okay. So is this a Da Vinci Code quote? Oh, there's two pictures. <laughs> so one of the pictures is. The two of us about to go to a wedding and I was very heavily pregnant at the time. And we're just being cool dudes. Cool dudes. And then this is a picture of us with our baby and he's dressed in like girls clothes in this because uh, he outgrew all of his baby clothes really fast and we started using Thomas's sister's old baby clothes. <laughs> and it's such a cute picture. He already looks so different from this. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so there's two pictures. So the one the with code is on the back of this one. Yeah. The code. Ah. What's the code? One second. Let's read the letter. <laughs> There's a hidden message in all my letters. Hope you didn't mix them up. Follow the green ink. The quote is: Can you keep secrets? Can you know a thing and never say it again? And codes. I imagine they lie down for you like lovers. Dirty old Lee. <laughs> so I'm assuming this is the order of the pictures. I have to put the pictures in this order. And then I didn't notice green ink. Making some progress. Um, baby needs a nap now though, so <laughs> I don't know. I might have to leave this here for a bit. What I think it is, is I think that the fact that there's three rows of numbers, I feel like it's like a word and a word and a word. I'm not telling you anything. <laughs> he even brought me a coffee to work on my code breaking. Yeah, you need the caffeine to help with your code breaking. I do. <laughs> your morning code breaking. Yeah. We're back after a nap and it's much brighter out now. And I've brought, you can as well rested. brought my cryptex. So it said follow the green ink, so I'm assuming there's green, something written in green on all of them. Yeah, so there's a two. I don't know how you and didn't notice that the first time around. Anything that's obviously green. <laughs> right. Yeah, I didn't notice the green ink as you were going. That's mad. One. That's hilarious, because I was expecting like a couple of days in you to be like, What's all this green lettering about? No, because I was always just trying to get through your handwriting. <laughs> and I was no. just, I was really excited. Handwriting's like, not that bad. I was really excited reading the letters. Or E. <laughs> M. M. <laughs> all right, you're getting fast now. A. So what does it say? So it says 216, you, your, the most beautiful girl. <laughs> Thomas, but what does Thomas, that mean? Thomas wrote me a song. Oh, right, right. You, you got there quite quickly. Yeah, because that was the lyrics in the song you wrote me a few years ago. Yeah. So what's 216? To be honest, I thought you'd take feckin' ages to figure <laughs> that one out. <laughs> so you're the most beautiful girl. So, so song. <laughs> Is what this is. Well, the 216. Oh, now, if you look at the code again, see, this was the whole point of I wanted to use the photo, which sure didn't work. Okay. So, between the 14, oh, this is the only thing I'll say. Between the 14 and the 3, what is there? A dot dot. No, I'm not gonna help you anymore. 2 dot dot 16. 216. Is that meant to be the time? So I have to listen to the song and it's 
two minutes, 16 seconds into the song. Maybe. So it's whatever you say at two minutes and 16 seconds into the song. Let me think. How are we gonna remember? <laughs> Bilbo. What? Bilbo. This is another one of the presents Thomas did for me when he had no money. <laughs> so this is why I didn't think you'd get it so fast, because I, I wrote you this like, I love you. Yeah. I listened to this a million times. I know it off by heart. <laughs> Wait, so 216. Oh my god, how did I get that right? Yeah, how did you get that right? Are you cheating or something? No! <laughs> Either that or you just have an encyclopedic memory with that song. <laughs> I got the word right. Well, maybe you did or maybe wait, wait. you didn't. Maybe you need to check the tri the cryptex and see if it loads. Shh, wait. The Bilbo. Yeah, Bilbo. So one of the lines in the song is, I'm the Bilbo to your Molly, because um, our family cats are called Bilbo and Molly. They live back uh, with my dad. And Bilbo, you probably picked Bilbo because I, the reason I said Bilbo was because it's a character in a movie and I knew that that was in the song. Oh. Is okay. that why? It's Bilbo! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I got it! Yeah, it is Bilbo. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, we are gonna have so much fun with this thing over the years, I tell you. Okay. <gasps> it worked. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's so small. What the fuck is this? What could it be? Literally, though. Is there anything in it? <laughs> of course, there's something in it. What could it be? I don't know. Open it. A see. tissue. <laughs> it's a piece of tissue. <laughs> what the fuck? <gasps> what? Did you change what was in here? No. I said to you really recently that I wanted a locket. Yeah, and I had to play it really cool because I bought you one like a month prior and I was afraid you were going to buy one online. <laughs> oh my god, Thomas, it's fucking gorgeous. Oh my god. It's a Wait. Tree of life on it. I need to give context first. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm actually freaking right now. It's like an old timey locket and it has a tree of life design on it. And like in my novel, the main character is handed down this old tree of life pendant and it's a family heirloom. And if she like clasps it, she can experience parallel versions of her life. So that's obviously why you picked the tree of life thing. Yeah. But the reason I wanted one of these, let me just... I can't believe you... I can't believe... Yeah, that was just weird parallel thinking because I bought it and then three weeks later you were like, I'd really love a locket. No, and then you, know you were like, I want, I want to buy one online. It's because... Okay, so there's this writer. I shared her book recently on Instagram. Um, her name is Shannon. She wrote this book, which is actually incidentally all about love. This seems like some grand sponsor for her book, but it's not in the event this doesn't fall apart. And it's a beautiful book that she wrote about falling in love with her boyfriend, who is a guy who me and Thomas listened to his music, right? I'll dig my grave. But she put up a picture on Instagram of a locket and I remember looking at it one day to Thomas and going like, I haven't seen a locket like that in years. I remember when I was younger, I always wanted one of these. Like my mom had one. And I think I even said to you, I wanted to order one. Yeah. That's and then why I was no, terrified yeah. that you actually would. And then I, and then I- <laughs> I was like trying to talk you out of it. I was just like, oh yeah, sure. You can do that eventually. You know, you don't need to, to do it right now. <laughs> yeah, no, no. You just forget. Fuck me, this is so perfect. It looks so old timey as well. Is there pictures in it? You'll have to open it. <gasps> God, look at that. This is like exactly like the only thing I can imagine that I would have accepted as a gift right now because I feel like uh. I don't need anything. Oh. <laughs> It's your your two boys. My two boys. I can't show you the little baby, obviously, but 
has a picture of, of Thomas and of the baby in there. Oh, wow. Oh, baby, this is so fucking perfect. <laughs> and it matches, it goes with my wedding ring as well. Like, I'm so glad you got silver. I'm so glad it's plain and it's not like fucking, you know, it's, it's very like the kinds of jewelry I like. So, for example, this is my lavender necklace, which is from Daisy Jewelry. It's Estee Lalonde's thing. And uh, this is just so perfect. I can't believe you got me a fucking locket. I'm really freaking out. <laughs> like I have, I have goosebumps everywhere. <laughs> you were talking about the locket, but it was sitting in the fucking grip text for three weeks. Thomas, no, I you promise you didn't open it, and because I had it, no. I don't know. Sure, I told you promised. there was a present inside. Where would, where's the other present then? You know. Oh yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. You swear. I swear, I, I ordered it back in, when was it? I think it was January I bought that. Oh my uh, I bought God. it at the same time as I bought the Cryptex. And, I, I'm uh, gonna wear it's this. It's been locked inside ever since. I'm gonna wear this literally for the rest of my life. Babe. <laughs> because it has a tree of life on it too. That's, that's so meaningful. My two boys. <laughs> You're in my <laughs> present. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mammy got a present. No, you're not allowed to rip this off Mammy's neck. Okay. <laughs> He's already on it. <laughs> you're never ever going to be able to outdo that present, Thomas. No. <laughs> that is like the best present of life. I think next year I'll just send you this video and be like, there you go. Remember that? <laughs> if you got anything from this video, it's that you do not need to spend a lot of money to make someone very, very happy. I've been having a hard time lately and this has just been the loveliest distraction from brain fog and whatnot. Yeah, we got nearly a month out of it. I love you. I love you. Happy anniversary. I hope you enjoyed it. You reached anniversary. I and did. You, well, you didn't call out its name. But oh yeah, anniversary! <laughs> anniversary! I'm having an ugly cry. <laughs> I look horrible when oh, I cry. I'm sorry actually, if there's been a I, lot of crying in this. Can I, can I show you one last thing? And we didn't get to do this, but because when I took it out, I thought it was reasonably thin, and I honestly thought when you looked at it that you'd think it was just a, a necklace. Okay. So my whole plan was, because we were going to go for a walk after this, so my whole plan was to finish the video, and then when we were walking out the door, I'd be like, did you ever look beneath the rose of the box for the, for the cryptics? No, I didn't. Is there something there? It was just, I'll just show you. I thought you would think it was just a necklace, and I was like trying to figure out, right, if she thinks it's a necklace, what's the best way I can tell her that it's actually a locket? So here's a pin, and I was gonna say it to you when we were going out the door, out of the holes on the back, like in the movie. Sorry, the camera battery died. Yeah. Let me just prop you. <laughs> so, I stuck it's a, a locket. I put a piece of paper in, and it's mirror writing. You have to look at it in a mirror. You're so <laughs> thick, Thomas. <laughs> I literally did that last night. <laughs> I just added that in just in case you didn't know. <laughs> but I don't understand what you mean. Did you think I wasn't going to take it out of the... No, I thought you'd take it out and you'd think it was just like a tree of life necklace. I didn't know if you'd know. Oh, I didn't oh. know you'd, you'd think that you could open it or not. All right, so you mean you didn't think I would realise you could open it even though there's hinges on I it. I was... Because you're <laughs> stupid. This was last night, I was very tired. But I was like, imagine if she thought it was just a necklace and then we were walking out the door and then I told her to look up to the rose and then there was the mirror writing on the, behind the rose that says it's a locket and then she opened it. Oh, no. bravo, Thomas. <laughs> Give the man some likes. <laughs> okay, like let's go on our walk. Preparation. We'll go on our walk and I'm gonna wear my beautiful lock. I'm just never gonna take this off. I just wanna wear this every day. Not that I wear I don't even wear my engagement ring every day because I'm afraid of losing it, but I wear it a lot. <laughs> okay. Day day. Need to bring our son on a walk. 